welcome to Relax and Sleep Hypnosis Daily. Please only listen when you can safely close your eyes. My name is Jason Newland. My website with all of my recordings on it is jasonnewland.com. Now please, before we start, get yourself comfortable sitting down or in a safe chair that supports your body or lying down flat on the bed or sofa or something like that, remembering that there's a good chance that if you're lying down, you may fall asleep. And you may be thinking, well, that's why I'm listening. Which is fair enough. So, I, for example, it doesn't matter if I'm listening to heavy, heavy metal music. If I lie down, I will fall asleep. Honestly, it's, it's just one of those things. You could play a drum kit in my bedroom and I lie down there and I will fall asleep. Now, if I'm asleep and you start playing the drums, it will wake me up probably. Well, pretty much definitely. But there's something about lying down. The triggers into that. Well, to be fair, it's something we've been trained into, isn't it? From a baby, from pretty much the first day of our... Um, outside the womb experience is lying down in a bed or a little cot so we get used to falling asleep now if you put a little baby in a harness and in a chair the baby will still fall asleep so if you, if that was the case eventually when they got older sitting in a chair would probably cause you to drift off so sleeping is pretty much the most natural thing in the world as is relaxing and it seems to be maybe not sleeping because it's so natural and even when we think we haven't fallen asleep, quite often we have. For example, I've laid there on the bed with a machine to check, to test me for um, sleep apnea and I was in bed for seven hours. I had this machine, I had a thing attached to my thumb, um, and, you know, it's all attached to me to check my pulse, my heart rate, and my breathing, and all that stuff. And then, I'm lying there all night. I didn't sleep. In my mind, I didn't sleep. I was just lying tossing, turning, just, just basically, um, there was something about trying to force myself to go to sleep, and you can't force it, it's, in, it's almost the opposite happens, it's the same as when you try and force yourself to stay awake, you automatically practically instantly start to feel more tired so it's weird isn't it weird the way that our minds work I'm not quite sure why that is so there's certain things I guess we just can't force You can 
can change your physiology, which can have an effect. And if to stay awake, splash cold water on your face, but you don't lie down on a flat surface because that's not going to help you stay awake, of course. At the same time, lying down on a flat surface can't force you to go to sleep, but eventually you will fall asleep. So I have this uh, situation, like I said, at this little test, this little kit on me, thing on my thumb, test my blood, uh, my um, my heart rate, and that was on the whole time. The next day I go to the hospital, and I said to them, I haven't slept, because they say, how many hours did you sleep? I said, I didn't. I didn't sleep one second. I was awake and I was aware the whole night. And they put the test through the machine and everything. And they said, uh, they said, do you want to see the results? And I said, do I get a lollipop? I mean, do I get something to eat? A chocolate bar or something as a reward? And she said, no. It's a very strange question for an adult of 46 years old. I said, um, I've always been a bit strange, but I'd much rather just have a chocolate bar than talk about it, about how strange I am. And she said, no. She said, I'll show you the results. I said, okay, okay. There were big chunks of time when I was asleep, and they can tell by pulse rate pulse slows down when we're asleep slows down when we relax um, and the other stuff that I had attached to me showed that I actually had slept about 5 hours out of that 8 hours and I, refu I said no they said yeah just didn't realise you'd fallen asleep so I'd fallen asleep without even knowing I drifted off and I fell asleep I closed my eyes thinking it was just for a, a couple of seconds because I didn't sit there with my eyes open it didn't seem a lot of point really because the lights were off I couldn't see anything And the things I was imagining, I was guess in my mind, I was actually dreaming. So I had fallen asleep. That was I was tired because I hadn't had enough sleep. I needed more than five hours, really. But when I heard that I'd had five hours, I suddenly felt. I don't know, a, a bit different. I, I just, what, this is weird, this doesn't make sense. But when we drift off to sleep, we don't know generally that we're asleep. When we relax, we do know that we're relaxed. can feel the the difference in just physically how you experience your own body I mean I think the things uh, the telltales that I'm relaxing deeply is my forehead and my eyes My forehead seems to just let go of that tension in my forehead. It just seems to just 
it's almost uh, like I haven't got I'm not saying I've got the wrinkliest forehead in the world it's not the, the, it's not it's you know it's I'm 51 years old so there's you know it's, it's, there's some lines in my forehead but it almost feels like I've, it's been ironed out just it sounds very weird, but like it's just stretched a bit, and then let go and stretched a little bit more, and kind of massaged just inside the skin. Almost to a, a point where the feeling in my forehead, and I don't know how you feel in your forehead right now the feeling I experience is as I've got my eyes closed now as I focus on my forehead it's it's almost like my forehead isn't there like I know it is there it's been there most of my life, pretty much. You know, it's it's it's, it's there. I can't really feel it. It's it's been replaced with a like a warm, a warm sense of comfort that's just there. It's just. It's, well, I guess it's almost like the skin has become invisible and replaced with just a feeling of warmth. Not hot, not warm as in like uh, temperature really. Just there's a kind of a different type of warmth. And that seems to have spread down into my eyes. Now, you may or may not hear background sounds, my side or yours. On my side, there's birds in the trees. I, f I find that the birds relax my mind. It might sound a bit strange. It might not sound for some people like, yeah, of course, birds are relaxing. Bird song is a beautiful thing. And I know not everybody feels that way. So I'll tell you why uh, I kind of imagine in my mind what's going on with the birds. Is I know that they're foresting, you know, they're, is foresting the right word? You know, they're, they're going and they're hunting for little twigs and berries and things like that. Always looking at worms and, you know, every day is a new adventure and they're, they've got maybe baby birds to feed and stuff like that, you know. So they're always busy. Always make time to sing me a little song though, so that's nice. I like to imagine they're just... that I can provide them by turning negative thoughts into positive little berries so the birds can come along and just remove those negative thoughts from my brain from my mind and then fly off again so I give them access to my mind and those bits of stress or tension in my mind turn into tasty little morsels, tasty little worms or berries for the birds. They can come and just pick it up in their little beak and fly off to their nest and feed their young. And as I just continue talking, I allow that, 
allow the, all the birds in the garden to just help themselves to my little bits of tension or stress or any negative thoughts that may still be lingering in my mind and let those birds just come along and they can just choose one as soon as they see it it turns into a nice little berry or a nice little bit of fruit or maybe a little bit of bread a little bit of a little worm or whatever maybe they need a twig they can just take that and help to rebuild a part of their nest that maybe got blown down during the wind well, so if they've had babies maybe they have to make an extension to the to the nest to make it a little bit bigger so the, there's bedrooms for the babies maybe you can allow the same thing to happen to you but only if it feels right. If it doesn't, then don't. Remembering that you, you are in control of how you feel. I mean, you may have sounds in the background you can incorporate those sounds for example if you've got someone maybe there's road works being done someone is digging the road they're on those big drills you know like that that wasn't a very good impression I admit you can just imagine that they're doing that and they're digging in your mind for wonderful feelings so that you can re-experience wonderful feelings of pleasure and happiness reminding yourself of good times positive times when you felt wonderful You can re-experience those feelings in your body and your mind. Knowing that any positive, happy, relaxing sensation that you have experienced any time in your life is available to re-experience right now just by thinking of that experience or you could play a game of roulette where you just spin the wheel just allow whatever positive, deeply relaxing, deeply calming sensation to spread through your body and your mind. You don't even have to remember the event when you felt this amazing this happy and relaxed you can just skip forward to the wonderful feeling of deep comfort spreading through your limbs and your muscles and your feet your hands your chest your back stomach, neck and face, your head, fingers and toes, enjoying, feeling, Relaxed. 
and calm. Loose. Letting go. Completely. Letting go. Disappears. Feeling as though time is now moving so slowly. As you sink down even deeper even deeper black Feels so comforting healing to really. go of everything as your body and mind empties of any remaining tension or stress and filling your mind and body with deep calming relaxation Feeling the sensations of positivity filling your mind. The healing properties of those positive emotions filling your mind. And then spreading down your body those positive feelings of healing deep deep relaxation allowing you to start to think differently more optimistic, realizing that you really are amazing. You really do have so many gifts and abilities. And you are so important to many people. Some people you may not even know have been affected positively by you. Deserve to be happy. Deserve to feel relaxed in every moment.
muscle of your body more deeply. As you move into the future, you may start to notice that you are starting to feel more relaxed more of the time and your mind feels clearer your mind feels Deep.